What's a stock in 15 seconds? When you have a company, you can split the ownership of the company in a bunch of shares, which are also known as stocks, and you can buy and sell these in the stock market. What's a bond in 15 seconds? Bonds are a way for the government to raise money. When you buy a bond, the government gives you a bond, which is basically an IOU. They'll pay you at a certain date, but you can also buy and sell bonds from other people and trade them. What's a commodity in 15 seconds? A commodity is a basic good that is interchangeable and not differentiable. Examples include gold, silver, oil, etc. For example, a bar of gold is the same as a next bar of gold. What are REITs in 15 seconds? REITs stand for Real Estate Investment Trusts, which are real estate companies that own revenue generating real estate. Its ownership is split into a bunch of shares, which are called REITs, and when you're buying these shares, you're buying REITs. What is private equity in 15 seconds? The ownership of a public company is split into shares called stocks. The ownership of a private company is split into shares called private equity. What is shorting stocks in 60 seconds? Shorting stocks or short selling stocks is a technique where first you borrow stocks from a lender and you expect the stock price to go down. So you're going to sell that stock to buyers and get money in return. Because you expect the stock price to go down, if all goes to plan, you will have to return it back to the lender. So first you would have to buy it back from sellers at a lower price if your theory is right. And then you can return the stocks back to the lender and you'll make a profit if the stocks you borrowed went down in price so that you can buy the stocks back at a cheaper price. What's a market index in 60 seconds? A market index is a hypothetical portfolio of a segment of the financial market. For example, the Dow Jones is a hypothetical portfolio of 30 large companies in the U.S. The S&P 500 is a market index of 500 large U.S. companies. And the Russell 2000 is a hypothetical portfolio of 2,000 small companies. And these market indexes are used to track the market and give people a good idea of how the market is going overall. But since it's only focused on a certain segment of the financial market, it gives investors and other people looking at the stock market an idea of a specific segment of the financial market and how that specific segment is doing overall. What's an index fund in 60 seconds? An index fund tracks a market index. I just made a video of what a market index is, so check that out. But to recap briefly, a market index is a hypothetical portfolio of a segment of the financial market. For example, the Dow Jones is a market index of 30 large U.S. companies. The S&P 500 is a index of 500 large U.S. companies. And the Russell 2000 is an index of 2,000 small companies. There are other examples of market indexes, but basically an index fund would track a particular index and its portfolio would hold the same stocks that the index has. So when you buy an index fund, you are basically buying a basket of stocks that make up a market index. What's an ETF in 60 seconds? ETF stands for Exchange Traded Fund, and it is a basket of stocks. How this basket of stocks is constructed depends on the particular ETF. Some ETFs track a particular market index. Other ETFs focus on a particular investment strategy like value investing strategy or growth investing strategy. Other ETFs focus on specific markets like the U.S. domestic market or a developing market. So it depends on the particular ETF. But once you have a pool of stocks in the ETF, this pool of stocks can be pulled together and be constructed into a security. So you can split the ETF into different shares. And when you buy the ETF, you are buying a basket of these stocks. What is an IPO in 60 seconds? IPO stands for Initial Public Offering, and you'll see why it's named that way very soon. So let's say we have a company and it wants to expand. In order to expand, it needs money, and it gets that from investors. So let's say the company starts off as small and privately owned, like all companies do, and it wants more money to become a bigger company and to expand. 
So what it can do is pick a public stock exchange or stock market and offer more shares to the public, which is why it's called a public offering. And since it's the first time it's doing this, it's called an initial public offering. So this public offering of more shares of the company to the public via the stock market is why it's called an IPO. And since now the company is bigger, there will be more shares held by more people, but the company is also bigger and you can buy and sell these shares to in the stock market. Should you invest in index funds, ETFs, or individual stocks in 60 seconds? When you buy an index fund, you're basically buying the stock market as a whole because it's a basket of stocks making up the stock market. So all you have to do is research the overall market and there's almost no choice selection. You might want to buy the London Stock Exchange instead of the New York one, but besides that, it's very little. You either decide to invest or not. So I'd say it's the easiest to invest in. For ETFs, it's also a basket of stocks, but it's more specific, it's more narrowed down. It's based on different investment strategies and ETF specifics. So you do a bit more research, but it's still not a lot of research. So I'd say there's some choice selection and it's a medium difficulty. And for stocks, it's the hardest to invest in because you have to research individual companies in depth and you also have to decide which companies to research. And since there's thousands of stocks in the stock market, there's a high choice selection making it hard to pick stocks. So it's the hardest to invest in. What's the main difference between an ETF and an index fund? The main difference is that an index fund is a basket of stocks that tracks a section of the stock market, while a ETF is a basket of stocks or other assets that's based on an investment strategy.